नमस्ते नमस्ते एवरीवन आज हम डिस्कस करेंगे रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम फॉर आर्बिट्ररी सिग्नल फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई हैव ए सिग्नल एक्स टी विद मी एंड आई वांट to calculate output of the system let me show you just a minute yeah रेस्पॉन्स ऑफ ए डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम सपोज आई हैव इनपुट एक्स ऑफ एन एंड डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम आई हैव वन एंड दिस डिस्क्रीट टाइम सिस्टम इज गिविंग आउटपुट एज वाई ऑफ एन इफ दिस इनपुट इज ए इम्पल्स सिग्नल delta n then the system will provide the output corresponding to impulse signal the output corresponding to impulse signal is called impulse response so the impulse response of the system is represented by del uh, h of n now if i delay this input by k so then it will be input will be del of n minus k and when it is applied to the same discrete time system dt system then because it is a time invariant system therefore the output will also be delayed by k and if i multiply input <coughs> by x of k then system because it is a linear uh, time invariant system so multiplying means scaling of input will also result in scaling of the output so output will become x of k h n minus k if i take summation of the input from minus infinite to plus infinite x of k del n minus k then after passing through the system the summation will also result in the right side and the summation will result in k equal to minus infinity to infinity x of k h n minus k the equation coming right side here is called convolution sum because it is representing convolution therefore this is called convolution sum okay this clear till now this convolution sum is important for calculating output of the systems discrete time systems so output this this is uh, calculate means output here 
output of discrete time system for input x of k is known given as this equation summation k equal to minus infinite to infinite x of k h n minus k okay this is also represented by x of n is star h of n this is star is for convolution operation okay thank you okay, let us consider one example if i have a unit step response of a system discrete time system given then we can calculate the relation between input and output so here the impulse response of the system is given at hn equal to 1 if n equal to 0 and 1 and 0 otherwise how can we calculate the input output relationship of the system so here uh, i can use the convolution sum which was calculated earlier that yn is equal to summation k equal to minus infinity to infinity so uh, here yeah, you can see that only at 0 and 1 so uh, k equal to uh, for example if i take n equal to 0 and k equal to 0 so k equal to 0 so uh, that x of k h of and n equal to also 0 so h of uh, k plus summation i can take here that um, okay So if k equal to no, so k equal to zero, and n equal to one, which will become x of k h of one minus k. Okay. So n equal to zero, and at n equal to zero, at n equal to one, h of So h of zero and h of one is one. So I can say uh, and y of zero equal to the y of zero y was n equal to uh, again. I can take n equal to zero if I take n equal to zero and uh, Okay, k equal to k equal to one if I take. So this will become x of zero, h of zero plus x of one, h of h of k equal to one. So k equal to Minus one if I take, so it will become x of minus one and h of minus plus one. Okay, so at y of n, this is this is one and this is also one. So this is x of n. Plus x of n minus one. Okay, so this is the expression between uh, uh, in relationship between output and out input. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much.